Hi everyone, it's Brittany from Create Your Future. And in today's video, I'm going to be answering a question that I've been getting. And that is, how do I know if somebody's manifesting me or can other people even manifest me? So before we get started, I just wanted to remind you that um, we are doing a giveaway once we reach 100,000 subscribers. All that information on how to enter is going to be in the description box below. So this question I've been getting asked a lot recently, and that is, how do I know if somebody is manifesting me? What are the signs? What would be happening if somebody were trying to manifest me? And if people can manifest me, how do I know that the person that I'm trying to manifest isn't manifesting somebody else? Who wins out in this situation? So first off, let me say this. When it comes to manifesting and the way that reality works, you are the only person who has any control. You are the only person who has any say in your reality. If you have a friend that's like into manifesting as well, they can do whatever they want in their reality, but you will never experience that. You will not know what's going on. You won't be able to find out what they're doing in their reality because whatever happens in your reality which is everything that you're experiencing now, will be under your assumptions and your beliefs only. So, you know, if you and a friend were going after the same guy or you and a friend were going after the same position at a job, you are always going to win out in that situation because they cannot manifest anything in your reality. So, like I said, in their own reality, they can do whatever they want. They can manifest whatever they want. And in their reality, you don't have any say if you're even in their life in that reality. So it's that's exactly how it works. Your reality, you're the only one with free will. You're the only one with any say. You're the only one in any control whatsoever. So that's why you can manifest anything and everything that you want. Circumstances do not matter because nobody else is in control in your reality. You're the only one that's in control. Um, now, as far as somebody else manifesting you, like I just said, if it's your reality, nobody else can manifest you. But if you have an assumption that other people can manifest you in your reality, then they can. So, you know, for example, I had a client who kept telling me over and over again, um, okay, so I am really trying to manifest this particular position in this job. And my coworker really wants the job too. And I don't know if she's into manifesting or not, but what if she is? And, and that was just a fear that she had. And, you know, that comes back to not being good enough and not being chosen. But she was concerned that who's going to actually get the position if I'm doing all of these exercises, I'm, I'm doing all my manifesting techniques, and I'm living in the end of having the position. What if she's doing the same thing? could she possibly be the one to get the job? And of course the answer is no, unless you've decided that, unless you've decided, okay, well, I don't have full control in my reality. Um, she is able to manifest as well and I'm not sure who's gonna get the position. If that's what you're thinking and that's what you're assuming to be true, then yeah, absolutely that can happen. So why assume that when you don't have to? We wanna assume we're the only ones in any control. We're the only ones that have any say or any free will. Nobody else can manifest anything in your reality except for you. So that way, you know for sure you're going to get the position no matter what because it's your reality. Um, if, again, if you have a belief that you think other people have abilities to manifest in your reality, use it in your favor you know, to create some meaning around it that is beneficial to you, beneficial to your manifestation. So um, let's say, for instance, you are trying to manifest an SP, okay? You can say something like, well, my SP is manifesting me. So like anytime you think of the person, oh, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of her because she must be actually manifesting me. So every time I get a thought of her, it's because she's manifesting me. You know, use it to your advantage. Um, you can say something like, 
um, you know, every time my SP calls me or every time my SP posts something on social media, they're doing it to get my attention because they're trying to manifest me. Like, it doesn't matter what you say, you know, we've talked about this before, but like, you can create any meaning that you want to, as long as it's helping you get into the state of the wish fulfilled, as long as, as it's helping you believe like, okay, yeah, this makes sense for me. This can work for me. So I can assume that I'm getting my manifestation or I can assume that this is the way it works because that's what I believe. Because ultimately that's what it is, guys. With the law, it's all based on your assumptions and your beliefs. So if you assume that other people have free will and control, then that's what's going to happen for you. And then, yeah, I couldn't tell you, you know, if other people are manifesting or not in your reality because you're giving them that that option, basically. You're allowing them to do that. If you decide, no, I'm the only one with any say in my reality. I'm the only one in, in control. And this is my reality. Whatever I say goes. I am God of my reality. Nobody can do anything. Nobody can do anything without your permission. So keep that in mind, guys. I, I know there's, there's so many questions about like, well, can I do this? Can I do that? Does this work? Does that work? Is this technique better? Is this technique better? Here's the thing, guys. Whatever you decide that's true is going to be true for you. And let that sink in for a second. Like, if that's the case, and whatever you decide to be true will be, why not make it much, much easier on yourselves and create rules that that make your life so much simpler, you know? Don't create like, I have to script this amount of times in order to get my manifestation. Manifesting's hard for me. You know, I have to put in a lot of effort. I have to spend all day, every day thinking about the thing that I want in order to, you know, get what I want, manifest what I want. Like, let's make some rules. Let's change the rules. Let's decide for me, manifesting is so easy. It's effortless. You know, all I have to do is think of a desire and I know that it's already mine and I will live in the wish fulfilled and it's already mine. You know, as soon as I have that desire, it's mine. And it can be that simple, guys. We make things complicated sometimes because, you know, I understand like there's, there's so many different videos out there. There's so many different creators and, and coaches and all of that. And that's amazing. Like, I love that there's so much information out there. It's great. And you get to decide like what teachers resonate with you and who doesn't. So if you hear somebody say something on YouTube that you don't resonate with, including myself, if I say something that you don't resonate with and you don't like, don't accept it. Like, don't accept that as the truth because everyone has their own limiting beliefs in some way, you know, and you don't have to take on those limiting beliefs. You don't have to take on those assumptions. You get to decide. You guys get to decide. So honestly, like take some time to truly think and truly figure out what would be the best way for me to manifest? What would feel the best for me? Do I want to have inner conversations and allow myself to just know that doing these inner conversations is going to get me what I want? Or do I just want to not do any techniques at all and just know that when I have a desire and know that as long as I'm, you know, thinking of it in that way, as long as I'm assuming the wish fulfilled, as long as I'm keeping in check with my mental diet, it's going to manifest. Like, let's make things easier on, on you guys, you know? Don't start making up all these rules or don't start accepting other people's rules for you because it doesn't have to be that way. It really doesn't. You know, I got so caught up in this, like when I first started learning about law of attraction and, and following all these different teachers and trying to figure out like, okay, so I have to be super happy and positive, positive all the time. Um, I have to assume that it's already done and let it go. You know, that never worked for me. And if it works for you, then great, keep doing that. Keep doing it. But if it doesn't work for you, if it doesn't resonate with you, if it feels like a chore, if it feels difficult, get rid of it and, and decide something else. So I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys. You know, I just want you to know that you have all the answers. You have all the answers within you. You get to decide, you get to choose. And if it comes down to it, if you're worried about somebody else being able to manifest your SP or 
that money that you want or that car or whatever it is, decide, you know what? No, nobody has any say in my reality. I'm the only one who's able to manifest things. And of course, I'm going to have that thing. Of course, I'm going to get that person. Of course, I'm going to have that car. Of course, I'm going to get that job, you know, or if that feels difficult for you and that doesn't work for you, use it to your advantage. You know, assume that, oh, because I saw the number 31, that means I'm going to manifest this. That means my SP is trying to manifest me. Like whatever, guys, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you decide and what you come up with as long as it helps you sit in that knowing that it's already yours and you are going to have it. Okay? All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, if you have any questions, you know, I am always available for one-on-one -on -one coaching, um, you know, motivation, advice, guidance. Maybe you want to know what your limiting beliefs are. I can help you figure out any and all of that stuff. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.